Uh, let's move on to Microsoft because there was big news. The Halo Infinite tech preview took place last weekend and I was proactive enough to sign up for it and reactive enough to play it. So wow. I, uh, I did it all. I ticked all the boxes and uh, they did it. They made a Halo game. Even though like mo it was mostly, it started off at just bots. You know, you're fighting bots, but mm -hmm. a certain day they turned on the full... The full Halo? The full, well, not the full Halo, but playing against other people. And uh, yeah, it did feel like Halo, and it, it's been a long time. It, it's been How, a, how's the movement? I, I saw some videos of like people sliding around and stuff that look cool. Little sliding, not, that, not as much as like Apex. There's like a slight slide when you duck and run. Um, uh, but everything feels really good. Like it, it felt great. Like I, That's what, one uh, of the reasons Halo is so good is because it, it, it feels really good to play. The grenades, it's been so long since I played that the grenades and the grenades are different than like really any other game. Like, you know, the, you know, there's no, um, what do you call that? Cooking, no cooking. Right. And you can't really throw them that far and you got to. It's different. It's, it was just, stick them to people's faces. Yeah, it it was. I had a little difficulty with it, and it's such a big part of the game too. Throwing the grenades. Um. Anyway, it's fucking. I'm pretty excited for Halo. Please come out this year. Do not. Awesome. Let it's us coming all. This year. It's coming this year. Let's all put our hands together. Oh, well, you know what? Multiplayer is coming this year. It's 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 hidden. Uh, Going to be here. It's, okay. Multiplayer. I don't know. Yep. I feel like everything's getting delayed. Solo is coming out in February. That's, That's your prediction? prediction? That's the Wombat prediction? Mm -hmm. Is it coming in quick off the uh, telegraph? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <Sorry>. Attention listeners! <laughs> I don't know if they can launch it like that. You say hello, I say wait until February! But, well, they could though, he's right. <laughs> Be isn't there a free-to-play component of this? Yeah, the, the multiplayer is going to be free-to-play. They're going to release that. That's what I'm saying. They're going to release that. My prediction is they release that first in November separately, because that'll be ready. And the single player, which they restarted from scratch, will be ready sometime in February. And no one would be mad, really, about that. I think, well, nobody is going to be mad I about think, that. Uh, and Spider Man will be, be available for it in 2028. <laughs> right. Shareholders would be mad if they if they did that. But there's a lot of money to be made on the free to play one. I mean, yeah, and you're not. I, I mean, when you say you're that money, though, we're talking about Microsoft shareholders, though. Yes, we are. And I, and I, I mean, but I feel like there's... Are they assholes? What are you, what are you saying about Microsoft? No, I think <laughs> they, they that, know. yes, the video game end of Microsoft is has, you know, obviously impacts the bottom line, but if they can make that up somewhere else in the Microsoft oeuvre of products... No, 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 guys, you're missing a huge point. No, you're missing a huge point. And it's even baked into the technical preview. They've got all the battle pass shit is all in there. So... Just because it's a free to play, it's there's plenty of money to be made there. Oh yeah, they gotta make no, a I ton of money. Think that, I don't think the shareholder problem is. It's not like a like a like a Nintendo, Sony, or an Activision thing where this is all they've got. Oh, it's definitely not all they got, but it makes it better if Halo comes out. I never. Yes, Christmas. it does, <laughs> but I don't think that, I don't think they have to worry that much about the shareholder aspect of it. And it's me? Game Pass. It's also Game me, Pass. Wanda? Worry about me. It's yeah. Game Pass. No one's going to pay, you know, who's paying $60 for it anyway? No one. I mean, uh, I, so, I, some people are. I don't think there's a rush to get that, that paid component. I think Wombat is actually right for one. I mean, uh, he's right. What? <laughs> I, don't, I, I would be surprised they launch it without okay. the single player. I wouldn't be surprised. I'll say that. Wombat says that's going to happen. I'm going to say I'm not surprised. Shipwreck said he would be surprised. So we'll, <laughs> we'll tune back in sometime around November and we'll see if I was right or wrong. Exactly. And if I'm wrong, you know what'll happen? Absolutely a nothing. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> You'll be canceled. <laughs> be canceled. Anyway, the I'll, have to, I'll have to delete my Twitter account. The point is that Halo is still awesome and it's going to be really good. This was just like a, 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 a taste. Like there wasn't even enough there to like, I know I'm sure there's plenty of people who fucking played the shit out of that tech preview, like hours and hours, but... To me, it was like meant to be played for like 20 minutes or 30 minutes and then go do something else. Um, but it's awesome, like fired up. All right, let's, and we talked to sort of, we talked about how Hades is coming to Game Pass uh, in August, but also Skate 3 and Katamari Damacy Reroll, which yeah, I will probably- should be out, I think, when people are listening to this. Okay, I will probably download Katamari because it's been a yeah, long time. Yeah, why not? I haven't played that in so long. I wonder if my kids would like that. I wonder if Sabrina would want to play that. And that my game kids, actually, my kids like it. They, of course, 
we've we've played that. Who could yep. not like it? Who doesn't like that when they see that? Everybody. Uh, loves it, it. It's a little bit. Mm, it's it gets you a little bit motion sickness. Oh really? A little bit. You can get motion sickness in that game. That game actually had slowdown, you know, when they had a lot of right. stuff on screen. So I'm curious to see what the re-roll is like. I'm sure it's going to blow me away with I mean, this ray tracing. Is this not the same game that's been out for <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. a while? No, it's got ray tracing and um, bit mapping. I don't know. I ran out of things. to God rays. God rays. Uh, let's move on to Sony. Sure. I, yeah, I made fun of this tweet in the intro, but um, Sony revealed the... I guess the requirements for their SSD, if you want to add an SSD drive to the inside of the PS5, mm -hmm. they revealed what would work. And it was basically you need an SSD, a certain type of SSD drive, but also needs to have a heatsink, or they recommend a heatsink. Re recommended heatsink, yeah. Um, and then Mark Cerny, who is the engineer of the PS5, it was a weird tweet. And like, not to like pick on the guy, but he, it was his choice of words. He wrote, our solution to our very active two-gamer PS5 household, his and her SSDs. Now, when you say there's a solution to something, that implies that there, you're solving a problem or that there's, a, there's some sort of a problem. In this case, the problem is the internal, the storage add-on costs, I don't know, was it like 250 it all depends on what size you if get, If you get right? like, I mean, not going to bother for anything less than a, than a terabyte, I would imagine. Um, and that's like that's probably like two fifty or two two twenty. It's yeah, it's, it's in the same. It's yeah, it's in the same region as what the one terabyte add-on is for for Xbox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not. It's not like they're priced so differently. Anyway, you can't. The solution to the problem isn't just buying everything. That's just like saying, "Hey, I found the solution to owning a Ferrari." Finally, I bought a Ferrari. I just paid for it. That's that's just doing. <laughs> that's just you know not solving the problem anyway also, i mean and it's not even an elegant solution it's expensive and inelegant it's like the two things usually there's like a one or the other like well, here's gotta, a solution we have that's affordable but it requires you to do a lot of work it's not here's that a solution bad. that's it's really expensive bad. that's no well the way two he hard drives the way two he framed hard it drives is, that cost the same swapping, amount as yeah, the goddamn you're... console is a lot of money. I'm assuming yeah. he's got two PS5. I would right? assume he has two PS5, Not and swapping. it's a one-time swap. Like yeah. if, if the solution is actually unscrewing and <laughs> no. taking apart, and then putting Shit. a new hard drive in every time. That's how I read it. it. That's how I read it too. And I'm like, but he's an engineer. Be, that he's not be doing what that. The solution is. I think he is. He says his and hers hard drives. He does not say. His and hers PS5. You don't think this motherfucker's got two PS5s in his house? I mean, I, I think don't think he does. <laughs> Anyway, it's just like I get it. He's he's an engineer, not a marketing guy. But it's just you can't provide a solution to a problem that it's just the problem. <laughs> I figured out how to avoid these wet, these big puddles walking to work. I just walk right through them. My feet get wet, but anyway, that's probably not the best. Uh... <laughs> no, that wasn't the best analogy. No, sorry. I yeah. enjoyed it, though. They can't uh, all be winners. Anyway, at Jeff Stryker writes in, he says, interested in Ship's thoughts on why expanding the PS5 storage seems so much more complicated than it had to be and why they would design it like that from the get-go. It's, it's a minimum viable product design, right? So they, they, got to a, they got to a design where they knew what the limitations are, right? And it's, it's the storage, right? Like... We're not going to have enough storage. So same as Xbox had the same, same as Xbox. issue. They both ran into the same, the same issues. Like we got to get the speed in this thing, but by doing that, we're not going to have the storage because it would be we, too expensive for the it's customer. Be too expensive. Right. Right. So you have, you have your price point you're trying to hit and you have your design criteria that you're trying to hit. So it's a, it, it's a balancing act there. And what loses out is, the one thing that you can replace is the storage, right? Like it, it's something that somebody can, can replace either way, whether it's the, the Microsoft method of having the external proprietary one that plugs in, um, which is a pretty good solution in the, in, in the short term, uh, or the PlayStation five version, which it seems like you're going to have to do this multiple times throughout the generation is my concern with it. 
right? Like because it's so expensive to just get a one terabyte one now. Right. It, it's it's so expensive to get it, and it's not as simple as like the if he if he gave that solution for the Microsoft solution, it makes sense. It's like oh, a his and hers that they just like swap out and put in the back. Yeah, that, that makes sense. That totally makes it. Make, <laughs> that's that also that's the expensive yet elegant design. Right, right. It's the okay. I can see how you designed for that. It's like um, having multiple memory cards on your PlayStation Two. Right, right. Yeah. Uh, it and it, but it has its limitations as well. But it's it's the actual solution if you take it in that manner. Um, so I, it just feels like I'm not interested in expanding my PS5 storage because. The prices are going to come down and you're going to, you're still going to run out of storage. Right. right? You're, you're going to be fighting this storage war this entire generation. Right. There, the games no are going to be a hundred gigabytes. And I, I need to know what's in the locker before I buy it. I don't know. Oh, wrong not. storage wars. Sorry. <laughs> you, can, you never know what's in the storage locker before you buy it. I know. Yeah. So I, uh, I don't know. And by the time that they fix this for the next generation, uh, the loading times will be bad again, or something. It, so, yeah, it, it'll oh, be yeah no, that, I mean, at the uh, that, I think that's sort of in many ways the goal to have games at the end of this generation that use this technology to the point where it's being pushed, and the load times are going to come back again, and they're also going to take up half your hard drive. So you're going to be removing, like right now, I think I have 19 games saved to my Xbox. Whereas opposed to the old Xbox where I had close to 400 games saved because I had two external hard drives plugged in. But I have no load times on those 19 games, so. Do you think that Sony could, when they redesign the PS5, they could re redesign it with a proprietary hard drive solution in addition to a... Could they? Yes. Are they going to? I don't think so. You don't think they would bother? Because too many yeah. people. Would, I think it depends. I think it depends. They put this on... route for so many consoles now, right? It's like, oh, take, just take the thing apart and install a hard drive. <laughs> like that's the architecture that they have. That's yeah. how the PlayStation Four was for a good chunk of it until they added in the external hard drive support. That's how PlayStation Three was, mm -hmm. right? We've taken we for generations right. now. We've taken apart and and, <laughs> and put in hard drives in all of these PlayStations. I think the, the PlayStation 2 was the one that ha it had one that went on the back of it, right? Mm -hmm. Or did we did we open up the PlayStation PlayStation 2 we opened up too, right? It was the modem that went on the back. The modem went on the back for sure. Yeah, I think I think we opened up and put a hard drive in the PlayStation 2 as well. They really want us hands on over at Sony. Mm -hmm. It's the architecture. They feel like that's the part that people were able to to swap in if they want to. The majority of users probably won't even mess with it because they they only buy a couple games a year, right? And they just delete them when they're done. It's an elegant solution for sure. It's annoying. <laughs> it, like I don't, I don't feel like I have that much installed on these these new consoles. Like it's over so quick. Like it, it's no joke on this Xbox. I have five. I just have the five hundred gig between Call of Duty, Warzone. And uh, my flight simulator, that's like so you have two... the one terabyte, don't you? Mm -hmm. it, oh, yeah, the, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you have one terabyte. Yeah. Okay, but this, those two games, that's that's like 260 mm -hmm. right there. Two games. Yeah, uh, Avengers is 140 gigabytes. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. crazy. All right, let's move and on. And that's without Black Panther. Right, that's going to add on. At least you don't have to worry about Spider-Man. Right. <laughs> See a lot of gigs? I, I don't think anyone does. Right. <laughs> he's not coming they just said eh. the pandemic I mean, pandemic fucked up spider-man they're just gonna put a hawkeye they're gonna put a hawkeye in a spider-man costume i just can't change. believe that they once did a thing where they were like we're gonna release a new character every month like every month we're gonna put out another another free character in this avengers game i'm like you know you, you didn't have to say that they said that they, yeah they're like we're gonna put out a free character every month was the like the launch plan and then the game launched and it was sort of broken as crap and they didn't come out with a character until February. And it was, you know, a C list character, like not even Hawkeye. It was other Hawkeye. Iron Man was already in there. Wah, wah. And <laughs> I, 
I like that game. Just it does. It fascinates me. Everything about the Avengers game. Well, from, we're we're waiting on the Wakanda update. It's going to be a big. Everybody's I'll waiting. I'll probably play it when Wakanda comes out. I'm going to play it. I I actually turned that, that game Dash on. Dash is week. into that game. Like, mm-hmm. I did it, not turn that game on this week. It but. is the best looking, worst looking game I've ever played. It's amazing how something could look so good and so bad at the same time. I still have, like everything about it fascinates me. <laughs> well, enjoy. Mm-hmm.